What's up everybody? Today I'm going to do a quick review of my Short Track Pro Series trailer. I'll go over some things that I like and dislike about it and hopefully it helps you in the future if you're in the market for a trailer. Uh, I can point out some things to look out for. I'm also going to do an overview of the build. Um, this build was made specifically for my needs. I am in construction so uh, the interior is built to my needs and so is the exterior, whatever was actually done to it. Um, so let's get to it. So at the front here, uh, one of the big pluses that I think of this trailer is a 2x6 mainframe rather than a 2x4. It does make it more heavy duty. This trailer is rated for 10,000 uh, pounds. It is an extra option that you can purchase. Usually they come at, at 7,000 pounds. It's the most common uh, option. However, me in my field of work, I a lot of times I do haul a lot of heavy stuff like flooring and cement and that type of stuff. So I do need the extra weight rating uh, so it is a big plus in terms of frame as well and then one of the things the short track thought out really well is instead of putting their uh, jack up front here where usually it is in most trailers they pushed it back a little bit they went an extra mile they welded on an extra steel tube here they put the jack back there that way if you have the trailer hooked up to your truck you can actually open up your truck's tailgate without worrying that you're going to hit it, damage it, and you're going to have thousands of dollars to pay for it to fix it. Uh, so that is a major plus. The other big plus is that jack is a drop jack, so you don't have to keep spinning that uh, handle you know, over and over again or putting any cinder blocks or anything underneath that jack just to get it up sooner. So I do think that's actually a very convenient thing and I think every trailer should have that. Uh, going forward, we do have a really nice thing that they did here. They welded on a little mount for the for the connector here. So, you know, when it's being stored, it's not hanging around on the floor. It doesn't get wet. You know, it doesn't short circuit on you eventually if, you know, plug it into uh, your truck. So that's a really big plus. Um, of course, I got the charcoal uh, color. That was what was available when I bought it. This is a 2020 and COVID was hitting really hard then. So it wasn't a lot available, but I do, I am very happy with the color and also they have the aluminum trim going on all corners here. And as well as uh, something that not every trailer company does, they do have a three inch aluminum trim going all the way around the bottom. And every corner is mitered rather than a straight cut. So. It's just the little details that they do uh, put thought into and it's a really really big plus in my book. It means they didn't cut corners. The one bad thing that I don't like about this trailer is the caulking, the siliconing, but I've seen that on most of the trailers too. Um, here in places like this it's really it's all right it's not bad. It does get very moldy for some reason so I do wash it quite often. I don't think that exterior silicone should be getting moldy uh, whatever they used on this one. It does get moldy and some areas they do crack like here and for me that's a bit of a big no-no because uh, you don't want any leaks going inside because all the wood is going to get rotten inside and uh, whatever bare metal is exposed inside it's going to start uh, rusting and you don't want that happening so this is something I'm definitely going to have to redo in the near future and that is one of the bigger negatives of this trailer However, it's not a decisive factor, so I um, can't really use that as, as, a, as a reason not to purchase it. So another big plus they do have here is all LED lighting everywhere up top, as well as the tail lights on the side. Um, LED is the way to go nowadays, so it's a huge plus for that. They do have a big RV style door on the side. Uh, a big, big, big plus, of course is this metal handle a lot of the new trailers they come with plastic handles they're very flimsy they break easily and they're pretty much useless same thing with, uh, with the little latch here we got the latch that you can latch onto here it's also metal um, I've seen a lot of them break I've replaced a lot of them before I've had different trailers before and they do break quite a bit so that is a big plus on their side and going around to the side here and i will go over some things that i did to this trailer uh, as soon as i am done with this review here 
Uh, so they do have aluminum wheels come standard with it. Of course, you have to put some wheel locks on there so they don't get stolen. They're way too nice. There's a vent, cross vent coming from the back here. Uh, that's one of the things I think trailers nowadays lack is ventilation. Uh, short truck didn't really go above and beyond uh, fixing that problem because nobody really, I guess the trailer companies keep it as a standard thing. They have one here and they have one up front also. So the idea is when you're driving down the road, there's one up there. When you're driving down the road, there is a cross breeze going through the trailer cooling it off uh, it doesn't really work honestly I've tested it before so it's a tiny little hole uh, so you do have to add extra ventilation but it's not a big deal all trailers company keep it standard so so it's all right uh, another thing that came standard on my short track trailer um, is that back fold down jack which is pretty convenient if you store your trailer for a long time uh, this did come with the trailer. You can also buy them separate and have them welded on or uh, you can have them bolted on. Uh, but it's really nice that the company thought about this from the beginning. So all you do is just, they literally fall down, put them down. And if you're storing a trailer, uh, you, can raise, you can raise it up a little bit. That way it doesn't put as much pressure on those wheels and tires. You don't have any flat spots. Definitely a, one of those little things that uh, people don't think about it. They don't notice on trailers for the most part and Really nice to have So if you do end up buying an enclosed trailer, so a couple things that I would recommend getting uh, One of them is a tire pressure monitor system and pretty much just comes in caps like these You can get them in a set of four or two or even eight um, They come with little sensors like this and a little monitor that goes inside the truck and it's very useful to have if you're going on a long trip you won't realize that your tire has blown out until it's too late and it's happened before uh, so you want to keep you know stay as safe as possible and uh, just use those monitors they're under 100 bucks you can get a set definitely worth the money and then the other thing is you want to get um, these hockey puck style locks uh, I've had different type of locks before and this has been proven to be the safest one. This one is pretty much impossible to break into uh, as easily as the other ones. I mean, un unless you're a professional, then you can break into anything. But uh, for a regular thief, this will be very hard to get into. Definitely something you, you should get. And of course, a bunch of nice little funny stickers because if you're stuck in traffic, you know, you want some people to have a laugh in the back while they're waiting and instead of getting angry trying to you know cut you off later on when you're slowly moving up a hill just have some fun with it put in some stickers give them a good laugh coming around the back here we do have uh one of the things that i noticed a lot of trailers have only two hinges on the bottom this one does have three hinges so that's a big plus for me because i've seen those uh some of the welds crack off on on other trailers and that did break off um also up top we got four of those i don't know what the names of those are they're the rubber stoppers there's four of them a lot of trailers put on only three or even two uh and then if you open up the tailgate you're putting pressure only two of those rather than evenly out on four so for me that's a huge plus um i do like the fact that they used uh these locks so whenever you close it it also closes off the bolts over here and nobody can unscrew your locks and just get in there easily they are bolted into metal same thing here and it's bolted into metal um, I've checked it before because I opened up all the walls and that's that for this and you got the LED lighting of course which is really great um, so let's get inside and see what it looks like inside and there is a review um, I've seen before that says these locks don't squeak. They do rust out and squeak just like every other Chinese lock, even though this one's made in America. Um, so it's not <laughs> the size of factor. There's pluses and minuses of it too. Nothing is perfect though, so can't really judge it by that. Coming in here, of course, you got the drop down tailgate that I have as an option. And there's a little extension coming out here. I do like that that hinge goes all the way through. Uh, keeps a little bit more sturdy and it doesn't tear out of that piece of plywood right there so it's a really big plus for me 
Um, let me just get some of this stuff out of here. Inside here, uh, one of the pluses that I do like is that sheeting up top, the white sheeting. It does keep it a little, little cooler in here. Um, it also keeps the noise of the roof hitting those uh, crossbars, uh, keeps it down because it does get very loud in here. And even though you're not really right in here, uh, you still don't want metal against metal banging all the time. So you just want to keep it to down to minimum. Uh, so that is a big plus. Plus, and it keeps it cooler, actually a lot cooler. Even though it's just a thin piece of cardboard is technically what it is. Uh, it's nice though. And moving on, the cross beams on the floor, even though you can't see it because everything I have here, it's been patched, all the holes are hidden and you can't really see anything. But they are 16 on center and same thing with the walls. You can't see it here because all my holes are patched and they're painted, um, but they are also 16 on center. The one big minus that I don't like, it's not really big minus, but I don't, I'm not really fond of it. Uh, the roof cross beams are only 24 on center rather than 16. So, you know, a couple extra cross beams they could have used that would have, in my opinion, made this trailer a lot sturdier. Um, and it would have given it a, a better, better look overall and however it's not really a big decisive uh factor in my opinion uh one really really nice thing they did here is and you can't really see it in the back because i do have all my tools here um some places you do see it so right here like you would see this little uh h channel uh this is where the two plywoods meet together so instead of using a piece of plywood like a lot of companies use um they just you know you would have a little crack here then one piece of plywood and another piece of plywood and then in the middle they would just put uh another thin strip of plywood just to cover that crack up it doesn't really look that nice so i do like this channel that they used um it's aluminum of course and of course they inside when they did the framing here everything is mitered it looks really nice um big plus here is they also uh, a lot of companies they use the same piece of plywood up top to cover it up because these do not go all the way up to the ceiling um short track used they use these corner pieces here um looks like crown molding and i actually found good use out of it because i put some lights in there as well but it does look a lot neater and if you want to do any type of electrical work put in extra lights it is much easier to uh, put wiring through there in the back and i think that's about it in terms of uh the trailer itself and so let's just go and do an overview of some of the things i actually did to it and as you can see it's built for uh for construction that's what i do and i do uh like nice things so i bought this trailer here and i tried to do it build it to my suits uh so one of the things i did here i put a light up there that way if i ever have this ramp open you know i'm working late I need to load my tools up into the trailer. I can turn that light on. It lights up the entire ramp and and then some. So you know I don't I can't trip. Well I could trip, but I won't trip. Hopefully. Uh, same thing inside. I do have lights. Uh, they're basic LED strips going up top. And I do have some spotlights. I wanted to make use of that corner uh, molding that they had. So I got some cheap spotlights and floodlights. It's like a mix and i was able to put that there just to have some extra lighting in here and it's all connected to a solar panel up top on the roof um there is some wiring going through here as you can see it's my little helper view right there there is some wiring going through here and it goes all the way through here goes down and into my little utility closet so it's a, just a hundred watt solar panel it charges that uh, 100 amp hour uh, battery and that is more than enough to have my lights running and have pretty much everything I need basic running off of this battery. I do have a little inverter here, it's only 400 watts, but uh, it can charge my batteries, my tool batteries easily without a problem. I can do it all day long and still won't have a problem doing it. Uh, my lights do turn on, the interior ones, there's two switches here. So that turns on and that turns on up here and the ones in the back 
I wanted to put it separate so I do have a separate switch for the one on the tailgate uh, so one of the other things I had to do here I put in the fan initially I put in just one fan but just this one and that is powered also from solar from that same battery uh, which is really nice you can opt in for one that puts air inside or just blows it out I chose the one that blows it out I just wanted hot air out of here uh, however that fan would really struggle if the doors would be closed because this uh, trailer is sealed so well that it creates a really nice vacuum in here um, so I did need to put in two extra openings they're really just they're not really there's no fans in there but um so I put two of these in and they were pretty cheap I think they're like 40 bucks a piece um, these are white so I did want them white as uh, because the previous one that I have it's darker so it's like tinted and no light comes through here no natural light versus these if you put in these white ones you will still get natural lighting in here during the day you don't have to use your uh, power uh, for the lights so that's a big plus but now I can open all three of them and use that fan if I need to have all the doors closed and it circulates the air in here it's really nice to do that um, so the other thing that I did here I put in e-tracks everywhere uh, this is one of the one, one of the essentials that I think a trailer should have at least an enclosed one I do have them two on the side uh, each side and there's so many different accessories you can put on there and it's just adjustable and it's it's so convenient to have that uh, it's definitely a must-have in my book and I do also have two on the floors they're going on the side there's down there as well just in case I ever need to use it to move anything um, I have them up there as well these are actually as you can see I use them to put a shelf up there and I could remove the shelf easily uh, because of that e-track and the, the entire system that built so it's definitely a must-have in my book all right so one of the things I did at the front here is I built this little table here um, I just used old plywood and two by fours and some old uh, kitchen cabinet doors uh, I wanted to utilize every single part of this trailer and this Vino section of it is it's a really awkward place so if you put any rectangle or, or anything like that uh, shelving there it's just going to take away from that back corner there so I wanted to utilize every single inch of it and it actually came out pretty good and I did the same thing for the top I made a shelf that contours that edge and uh, I actually got a lot of stuff up there so it's really useful and why not uh, I wanted, didn't want it to stick out too far so I had to push it back a couple of feet uh, past the door because if I open this little utility door here where you see my battery and my uh, charge controller in there I didn't want it to get in the way of the main door the entrance door and plus I don't need like a huge work table so I wanted to keep it uh, at a minimum but also useful and one of the cool features that I put in recently in here is actually a set of outlets uh, just pops out like that I did uh, choose the two outlets with USBs and a USB-C in there it is a fast charger you can choose four outlets you can choose different uh, versions of this so I opted in for this one because uh, I do I do use a lot of USB and just not a lot of outlets in here um, so this is pretty neat and it's actually hooked up to the outside of my trailer and I'll show it to you in just a minute uh, so not always you know this 400 watt power inverter is just not always enough uh, sometimes I might need some more power like if I'm running a saw or from a vacuum or anything inside here that I need more power to uh, I use my little generator it's a 2200 watt generator and it's more than enough it's some if I'm somewhere in the in the middle of nowhere and there's no power it's more than enough I just use an extension cord plug it in even if it's raining outside you're inside here you got power really useful it's a 7 foot by 14 feet uh, trailer so I wanted to utilize as much and as much of it as possible and I didn't have even half of these tools uh, when I started building it so I wasn't uh, planning to have this much stuff in here uh, that's why it looks right now a little bit stuffy and that's gonna be my next project to uh, to 
so we'll build a little bit a little rack a more heavy duty rack and organize everything nicely um, that way we don't have all this wasted space we can actually use all this up same thing up top we don't have all this wasted space um, down here as well it's just a lot of wasted space I want to have like a builder rack I did start welding so um, it's definitely something I'm looking forward to that uh, I can actually use it uh, to stack everything nicely everything will have its own spot and I will also be able to take it out anytime I need to as you can see these these are just wire shelves they're on like wheeled casters so if I do need to use the trailer for moving or something like that which I've done before I will literally just empty out those top shelves and these shelves just fit out the back easily and I just roll them out uh, put them in a garage or storage anywhere and I'm I got that trailer free within 10 minutes so this is one of the things that I would still want to have in the future um, just more heavy duty and organized so yeah this is pretty uh, pretty much it so besides the painted walls and the flooring I've seen a lot of I've had trailers before I've done it before uh, people use rubber diamond uh, flooring and I do not like that I've used it on my trailer before uh, and this little back section this door when it rains if you get even a little bit of rain on there and you have that rubber flooring on there you will slip and you will fall and I've done it before more than once uh, so that that I did not want to do this in this trailer again so what I ended up using is uh, just bare uh, deck over it's basically deck paint you can get it in any texture I chose I believe this was the medium grade texture so it's, it comes in sanded uh, medium grade sanded whatever they call it and smooth texture I ended up going for the medium one and even if it rains I could literally walk up and down this uh, ramp without a problem and it's cheap I think it's like $40 a gallon now so a trailer of this size would be a gallon and a half would be more than enough for two coats and I go up on the side a little bit too like if you look down there just in case water gets in here it doesn't go through those corners they are caulked and I have this coating on there so I'm not worried about any water going behind the walls and rotting out the wood so uh, definitely uh, something that you you might want to think about doing it and definitely something I would do in the future again uh, other than that I think there's pretty much nothing else to be said about this trailer it's it's great uh, oh one of the things I did forget this door the entry door it is uh, insulated with foam inside so it's not hollow like a lot of them are in most trailers uh, that is a really big plus in my book because uh, it doesn't make as much noise even when you close it it doesn't make as much noise same thing uh, with the walls I did insulate the walls so they don't make noise going down the road and it's warmer as you can hear that it's actually not making a lot of noise uh, and that those outlets that I showed you on the inside they are hooked up to this plug here just open that up put an extension cord hook it up to your generator and then you got power I mean there's different ways you can you can actually do this uh, you could I could have just done a bigger battery and bigger solar system in there but uh, I don't really only depend on solar so uh, I don't want to be only dependent on solar because you never know how much sun you're gonna get or if I'm working somewhere out in the mountains in the woods I don't want to be dependent on that because there's not much sun there I want it to be you know universal that way so that's about it uh, for this trailer hopefully you guys like it if you do like the video um, please put a like and subscribe and I'll be able to bring you more videos like I said I'm gonna try to uh, see if I could build that shelving uh, that little cart in the future and I'll be able to bring you a video of that if there's any questions that you guys have about the build or the trailer feel free to ask and I'll be happy to answer them